Pre-order my book, American Evil, in the description below. Talk about vindication. Holy moly. Seeing people react to the Tango Gameworks closure is hilarious because I predicted this. You know, I said that Hi-Fi Rush was not successful and that this was a, a last-ditch effort by the company to stay relevant. You know, I... I explained how Shinji Mikami leaving the company was a red flag. You know, I, I talked about Tokyo Ghostwire. I talked about how the evil within wasn't, was a disappointment. You know, I talked about how G Tango Gamework, Gameworks had no credibility at all. And yet people were just sitting there saying, no, uh, uh, Hi-Fi Rush is, is uh, my game of the year because uh, I don't play anything other than than Xbox. So this kind of cartoony video game is new and novel to me, even though Platinum Games and Nintendo has been producing higher quality products than this for the past decade. Like, bro, bro, like the, the hype around Hi-Fi Rush was unwarranted, right? If you like High Fry Rush, it just means that you haven't been playing enough video games, right? People were trying to tell me this was a major hit for the studio, that Microsoft would invest more in Tango Gameworks after the success, that this was a huge, phenomenal thing, and they're done. You know, barely even a year later, Microsoft has shut down Tango Gameworks all the staff are getting fired. They're not like they're not getting like reincorporated into other teams or anything. They're just done, right? You know, you know, ten years of this studio being propped up on like Shinji Mikami's legacy alone, just down the drain. You know, like the Bethesda acquisition by Microsoft really does seem to have only been made because so they could have a uh, Fallout in the Elder Scrolls, right? <laughs> they didn't care about everything else under the Bethesda label. Right, for sure. And uh, we are now beginning to see the end result of that, right? We are, as I predicted, seeing the end results of Microsoft acquiring all these studios. They are treating them exactly like they did Rareware, right? They're just shutting them down, not doing anything with like their, their fast legacy of IPs, right? Uh, if they do do something, it's half-assed and doesn't really make a whole lot of sense and, and just alienates the original the original audience. Uh, just look at the Battletoads reboot, right? Like, this is the legacy of Xbox, is just ruining video games endlessly, right? It, it, you know, like, how, like, in 1984, where, like, uh, the guy is, like, explaining to Winston about, like, uh, what the the state of America is like, well, pfft, the state of uh, the world is like, like, ooh, imagine a boot stamping on your face forever. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's Microsoft right now for all of their, uh, the studios they've acquired, you know? And uh, the sad thing is, uh, before this layoff, uh, before these mass firings were confirmed official, people really thought that things were going well. Like, before we got confirmation that all of these people were just in the shithouse, right, completely canned, you know, completely fired from all their jobs, you know, no more games will get produced. People don't even think Hi-Fi Rush is going to get ported to Switch anymore. That's how bad it is, right? You, um, you have this situation, right, and, uh, you're, damn, what was I going to say? I, I completely lost it, but anyway... Uh, my point is, Microsoft spent all this time and energy hyping up iFi Rush only for it to collapse among itself, right? They spent all that money hyping up iFi Rush, selling it as their next big thing. You know, a lot of YouTubers bought into it. It was like shilled and look what happened. It was an absolute train wreck. 